Hi, I'm Shelly Hunter, gift card girlfriend, and I know almost everything there is to know about giving someone a gift card, but I don't know anything about giving someone a car. So I'm here at Maverick Car Company, and we're talking to Freeman Dawson. He's the owner of the company. Yeah. And I want to know if you can tell us, just give us the basics first off about buying someone a car for a gift. So um, it's a tough thing to give as a gift. Okay, why? But it can be awesome. Yeah. Um, difficult because I think a lot of people have in mind a certain thing when they're dreaming of, of the next car that they might want, especially if it's a, a younger person. Okay their first car they might have dreams of <laughs> what that car could be right? right and you may be on the same page and you, you may be a long ways off and you want that to be an exciting awesome right. gift and and if it ends up being less than they were expecting then that could be a disappointment in some way and you you know you don't want them to be like yeah I love it yeah and, and not really. Right. So so I would think there'd be there'd be some steps you'd want to take beforehand. One to to know if that's a good idea, and and two to kind of get a feel for what expectations might be, um, specific things that they may want. Right. So, that, so for example, if you're a parent giving this to a kid, you might be thinking safety, reliability, practical, gas mileage, right. and they might be thinking you know Fast. a Jeep Wrangler. Yeah. <laughs> and none of those go together. And so if, if those expectations are, are off, and not, not that they're even expecting you to give them sure. a car, but if that's what they're dreaming of is their first car, yeah. and then it's a long ways from that, that could be, that could be a little challenge. I'm talking to Brady <laughs> now. He's a salesperson here at Maverick Car Company. So Brady, if somebody came in and they said, I want to buy a car as a gift, where would you start? Um, I'd probably start by finding out who the gift is for okay. um, and then going over budget and kind of the likes and dislikes of the person who that gift is, is for. I, I love to know brand preferences. Um, okay. Again, whether they're looking for a, a sedan, an SUV, depending on the budget, you can be limited um, okay. by quite a lot, of, uh, a lot of different options or they range a lot and they vary a lot by price and, and between model and, and style. A car is a big gift. I love to give gifts and receive gifts, whether it's really small or really big. Uh -huh. um, I just, I can imagine someone being very excited uh, to receive something like a car, whether it's very nice or maybe not quite as nice or as new as some of the others. All right, now I'm talking to Austin. He is the finance manager over at Maverick Car Company. So Austin, it can't be as simple as just picking out a car and paying for it and giving someone the keys, <laughs> right? Absolutely, absolutely not. Okay. I think in large, this is going to depend on how you've set up a purchase. So when you have somebody who's purchasing a vehicle outright, you're writing a check for it, very simple. As long as you know who's going to be on the title work, you can prep for that ahead of time. It gets a little more complicated when you involve a loan process, however, and that's going to be largely due to uh, how it's being titled, what lender you're working with, and uh, what they want to see reflected on the paperwork. Let's say I'm a parent and I'm giving a car to my kids. Is the car more likely still my I own it, but they just get to drive it? That comes down to preference. Okay. If I was giving a vehicle to say my 17 year old child, then yes, I would own it, I would insure it, I would register and give it to them. However, there might be a situation where that's not the case. If okay. I'm sending you out of state with a car and you need to legally be on that registration in order to keep it up to date and keep your emissions up, then I'm gonna put it in your name. Okay. And depending on who you're working with or what the situation is, somebody in my position or, or even your salesperson, if they've got plenty of experience, should be able to help direct and field those questions to uh, what's going to work best for you. When you know the, the, the kind of vehicle they're after, maybe the make or the model, color preferences, then it's much easier to pick something out. And then it's as simple as them taking what we would call delivery of the vehicle. And that means signing their purchase stocks here at the dealership after you've made your payment for it. So if you're not, say, putting this to a family member and it's mm -hmm. going to be to a family friend or even maybe an acquaintance that you're doing a good deed for somebody, wildly important to understand they're gonna be the one on the paperwork, even if you're one, the one making the payment. And so it needs to be completed that way. Okay, so does that mean though that I can't have the car with a bow on it in their driveway? <laughs> Not at all. 
as long as you're discussing it with your dealership, they should be able to direct that. The caveat to that is, is at some point that person still needs to sign their purchase documents and that's going to need to be fairly quickly after they take your car. What if you guess wrong? Can a car be returned? A, a good question and varies depending on your state and also depends on your dealership policy. Now, your caveats. If you're giving this as a gift and the person is not saying purchase docs yet, that doesn't even apply. Okay. But oftentimes dealerships have adapted a policy that they're able to return vehicles inside of a certain day period. Um, but be aware, most dealerships, especially when you're not a franchise backed dealer, meaning I don't sell a brand name that comes mm -hmm. across the country, you may not have that recourse. You know, what I did hear from everybody here from the salespeople to the finance to you, the owner, is that this is, could be a really fun thing and that everybody here would be kind of excited to be in on the surprise. <laughs> we, we love to be in on it. It's, it's actually a lot of fun. We've, uh, we've helped plan some really cool things in the past. Um, but, uh, you know, that's just a small piece of it. Is right. The actual presentation uh, and delivery of it is, is just a part of it. There's a lot that goes into uh, figuring out the car and all the other specifics right. to make it a good experience overall. So last question I'll ask you then is um, what, how about how much time should you allow? If you want to give somebody a car for Christmas for example, yeah. when would you start having these conversations with the dealer? Um, the sooner the better. Yeah. I would start uh, shortly after Thanksgiving, maybe before, yeah. and not necessarily that you need to go talk to a car dealer. Um, to figure these things out. But that can be a good place to start. If you find a, a salesperson that you trust, um, a friend that's in the car business, might be able to help you think through things, ask the right questions. So I'm the gift card girlfriend, obviously. Yeah. So one of my suggestions would be to, if you want the element of surprise, but you don't want to be wrong in the okay. car that you pick out, get a gift card to the gas station to uh, an auto repair or Jiffy Lube or AutoZone or sure. something like that. And you give that person the gift card with a sense of like, you're gonna need this gift card for the car we're gonna go pick out together. Very true. And that could, uh, that could help in a lot of ways in, uh, in the aspects of having it end up being a good thing long term, yeah. as opposed to a uh, great surprise and then having things start turn into uh, a bit of a challenge because right. uh, it wasn't the right car or any other number of factors. Right. And outside of buying a car, if, if the idea of you know a car may be in their near future, you can buy a gift card to do something like window tinting. Yeah, um, that's a good idea. Or something that might take their car, their current car, and make it you know a step better yeah. so maybe it's tinning windows maybe it's stereo. Uh, a stereo that's yeah. actually something that that we've done a couple times for folks we've put in dvd players for mothers uh, right okay. that were just super thrilled to have a dvd player for their yeah. kids um things like that are, are another way to still give a, a car related gift uh -huh. without it uh without all the potential for, right. for the or the challenges. pun for it to backfire <laughs> right <laughs>